divorced neighbors. Uh, when are we going to finally separate? What is your underwear doing here, huh? I'm asking you a question. Why did you put your underwear in the washing machine again, huh? Can't you do anything like a normal person? Are you listening to me? <sighs> this is my favorite brassiere. Get out of my sight. Where are you going? Don't you see that I haven't finished yet? Can I first open the door? Yes. Thank you. We have two rooms here. They're small, but they are very cozy. And Grayson's room is always... Ooh! I'm so very sorry. Please go in. I told you to clean up. And over here, I don't know if you noticed, but here's uh, Rita's room. Just be room. careful, just be careful. It's always clean and tidy, and the windows overlook the patio that we have outside. Please go ahead. It is very quiet and green. That's why there's so much fresh air in this area. And over here um, is our kitchen. As you can see, it is, it is very large and spacious. There's two entries, which is very convenient. Uh, a very spacious hallway and a very quiet entrance. What is that up there? Um... Are the roofs leaking? No, it's just a... Uh, it's just a... Uh, no, it's only when it rains. The water accumulates there somewhere, but it dries up in a week, right? Oh, don't listen to my ex-husband, please. It just needs to be plastered a little, and that's it. It'll be fine. Thank you. I think we saw everything we needed to see. We will think about it and get back to you. Of course. I really appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We'll be waiting. Let me show you the way out. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <sighs> what nice people, huh? Why did you have to talk about rains and leaks? Don't you want us to sell this apartment, huh? I can't lie to people. And I can't stand you. Thank you. You're welcome. My favorite blouse and two bras are terribly ruined because someone forgot to take their clothes out of the washing machine. <laughs> All men are the same. Hello? Hello. Tammy? Ooh, you've been coming a lot lately. I know. Check this out. Your nails are beautiful. Sure, I have to be flawless. All single girls need to find a husband. You know? Yes, I do. You have the right attitude, girl. Not like some other people. And there you go, Rita. Still waiting to meet someone. How can I meet someone? I have the enemy at home. When we get divorced, maybe then. Perhaps when we get divorced, you'll have the chance to meet someone. How much longer are you going to keep this up? Yesterday, a couple came to see the apartment. They said they would let us know. We just have to wait. I think you should raise the price a little more. Your apartment is worth much, much more. You can even buy a luxury three-bedroom apartment with a great view. Sure, a luxury apartment with a great view. But we only need two rooms. Then look for a room for yourself. It doesn't have to be too fancy. The point is to get out of there as soon as possible and to change your scenery. Do you know what I mean?
Hello? Yes, Rita? When do you want your haircut appointment? Between 2 and 3? Oh, okay. 3.30 is better. I'll have a half an hour, so we won't be rushed, okay? That sounds good. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Are you now a mechanic? Oh, hello. Hello. I came back from work earlier, and I thought I could make some adjustments to my supercar. You call this garbage a supercar? Well, I'm going to finish it. And when I'm done, what are you doing here? To have lunch. Oh. That's why I'm here. That is, if you haven't eaten everything yet. Of course I have not. I really don't want to die. Don't you want to die? Do you yes. think I'm going to poison you? Really? Huh. Now it's burning. Oh, Tusi, don't come to me asking for food. He's your owner. Go ask him. Go, go. Well, now he's going to have a tea and he'll be full. Why you can't let me drink my tea in peace, Rita? Oh, that would be my dream, that this man drinks his tea far away from me. There's nothing wrong with dreaming. Oh, my God. Please, somebody buy this apartment, please. Maybe you'll be able to find an apartment with a roommate. Why should I change one shared apartment for another? I will look for my own apartment. I see. I'm not in a hurry. Yeah, obviously. Tusi, let's go for a walk. You know, it's business as usual. I can't stand it anymore. The truth is, I can't take it anymore. She's tormenting me. Huh? She's trying to kick me out. Can you come tonight for a while, maybe? Yeah, sure. See you then. Yes, my darling. You are such a good girl, and you are so smart. Look, we cannot keep living together like this, you know? If we keep living together like this, it won't be good. Careful. I wish you could come sooner. Careful, it's wet. Hello? <gasps> Hello, how are you? Uh, come, come in, careful. Please, come in. Are you here to see the apartment? Please, come in, come in. Can I take your coat? Every apartment has to have lights on the way in. And there is no light in the hallway either. What is that? Oh, hello, are you the landlady? Mom, I'm sorry, let's see the apartment. Oh, oh okay. I'm ow, sorry for that. Ow. Can you oh. stop screaming like that? Oh, it Look, hurts, Mom, it hurts, you it live hurts. here. Well, let's see. Let's see what kind of place we have here. Really, this is a very cheap chair wall. Could you oh, make careful. these? Mm. Mm. <sighs> Why don't you offer the lady a chair and help her off with her coat, at least? No, don't worry, I'm fine. Thank so you. So we recently well, remodeled well, the, the whole apartment. apartment. We put wallpaper in this room and whitewashed all the stuff. It is obvious that everything is in bad shape. Clearly the apartment is not in the best condition. And everything is very old. Apparently only the outside is in good shape. Son, I don't want to risk my mother's help. So we have to Talk about the price, as the apartment is not the best one I've seen. You agree? I'm just telling you that I'm not knowing the price. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll see. Believe me. Ah, look at this. Ma'am! Uh oh Please sit down! No, There's no need I'm to okay stand up. standing up. No, 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 sit down, please. You You're gonna to be, be better so this way. Well, thank you. Ah! Oh, uh, are you okay? Are you 
you hurt? Take your hands out. off my mother. Oh. You idiot. Are you trying oh. to hurt my mom? Now I'm going to kill you. Oh, I'm against violence in any form. It was an accident. Well, now the one who was getting hurt will be you. You get it? I swear I didn't mean it. It was Are an you accident. Take your hands off of him. I'll call the police. You understand what I'm saying? Let him go. Now get your mother and get out of my apartment. I'm not fully around. I'll do it. She's not kidding. Bloody psychopaths. Mom, let's go. Get up. Are give, you okay, Mom? Give me my cane. Just give me that. You know something? My back is better. Huh? Don't you dare say a thing. Get out now. You psychos. Yes, go. Leave. And don't forget your bag. Rita, thank you for saving my life. You get out of my sight right now. You're an animal. Katie. Katie. Mom, Dad, are you fighting again? Have a little baby. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And a slice for me. <laughs> wow, some people shouldn't be allowed at the table, just like animals. Mom. And some people are so rude that you don't really understand what they want from you. Mom, Dad, you promised. <sighs> you know, honey, there are some things you can't tolerate in silence, and in this case, your father is one of them. That's it. Yes, Katie, you're asking for something impossible. Remember that your mother can never be silent. Please don't listen to your father. He is just a good-for-nothing. So your father is good-for-nothing. So, in this case, your mother is a perfect woman, right? I have to tell you something. I was waiting to tell you, but now I'm not sure. Don't worry, honey. I've wasted 20 years of my life waiting. I have to tell you something that is very important for you to know. Did they give Don't you a raise? Don't listen to her, honey. She just think about money, and maybe she's on the verge of a great scientific discovery. <laughs> Don't be. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Who cares about scientific discoveries? You know, I wanted to be a doctor, heal children. I even graduated from medical school, and as a result, I work as a hairdresser because your dad, with his scientific discoveries... Katie, money is not the most important thing in life, you understand me? And by the way, stop insulting me in front of my daughter, okay? Then stop lecturing me. You stop. Enough, stop fighting. Okay, honey, relationships are very tough. Look at us. Katie, honey, don't make my mistakes. If you meet a helpless man like your dad somewhere, make sure you get a divorce before you get married. It's not worth wasting your time. And by the way, it's rude to read at the dining table, don't you know? Honey, everything will be fine. <clears throat> Love and affection is great, but not with someone like your dad. Stop it. What did you want to tell us, honey? Yes, what is it about? Please tell us. What is it? It's nothing serious. Never mind. Forget about it. Okay, honey. And it's a ball. It seems that both teams are determined to win. At the end of the first half, the teams are tied. We have a very interesting <coughs> game ahead of us. A lot depends on the outcome of this game for both teams. The game is on and they are ready for battle. If you're not watching this, you're missing the best game of the season. What kind of woman is she, huh? All she thinks about is money, money, money. Huh? Tell me, Tusi. Well, to see. I think about money once a month or so. When I have to pay the bills. Okay, then. Take this. It's all the cash that I have with me right now. I give you the rest with my paycheck. Okay, this should be enough. Probably going to change his alarm clock too. I love my life when we break up. Mm.
young and beautiful. Why should I have to suffer? Oh. I need to use the bathroom, please. Come on. Tusi. Let's go. She's gonna be there for a while. Perfection takes time. One, one's beauty cannot be rushed. Perfection takes time and patience. Goddess, who walks Just among us mortals, how are you? Of course, of course. I remember everything about and our, our date. date. And we will definitely go at some point, okay? Just you're just going to have to be patient, okay? Goodbye. Okay. Good morning. Hello. Tell me, Tusi. What kind of person is she, huh? Don't worry, when I get a job, I will buy you a piece of meat and we will celebrate. What is that? Look at this chair. It looks like the chair in our kitchen. Maybe we didn't find a great job, but... This chair is perfect. What do you think, Tusi? Come on. It's gonna be very useful to us. Good morning. Hello, Grayson. Why didn't you want to go out with him? That guy's too gloomy. Kind of creeps me out. Are we talking about someone new? The neighbor. Huh? So you're saying your neighbor is hitting on you? Did he ask you out already? Hmm? No, it's, it's just that our cellars are next to each other. He's just an old man. I think you're just too picky. Do I have to date every guy I meet, or what? And what's wrong with him? He's a gentleman and very handsome. You can forget about the rest. This can be the one for you. Not that you have many choices, huh? Oh, listen to the one with the most experience. Uh, Rita? Mm. I'll give you my number. Would you give it to your neighbor? In fact, all the handsome ones. You can do that for me, right? Yes. I'm a pretty, curvy, and naughty girl. Mm-hmm. I'm counting on you. Oh, yeah. Just don't lose it. <laughs> okay. Ciao, girls. Ciao, ciao. Well? It looks like it belongs here. Huh. What do you know? Uh. So you finally got rid of one of your neighbors. At least he's not going to bother you again trying to get you to go out with him. Do you think it would be good for her? I honestly don't know about that. But you definitely are not going to ask Grayson to go out with her. Are you? Oh, you are. I just don't get it. And why not? Yes, I can drive. I have my own car, yeah. It's a Mosvich. What, it's not suitable? But it went very well. Uh, yeah, but... <sighs> Thank you. Excuse me, sir. I need to transfer some money to my account. Yes, the number is five. 
three, seven, oh. eight, one. Do you call that a salary? They leave more tips in a restaurant. And why are you being so rude? Well, I better work at a restaurant then. It's better to work there than what you're offering me, you cheap. That's it? You're full? But I mean, uh, I can't, no. Give me the address. I'm writing it down. 15 Soho Boulevard. Should I be there at 6? Yes? Of course I can, of course. Yes. Uh, I have a weekend suit, if I have it. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is not the right time for me to speak. <laughs> I'm sorry. I call you later. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you are not that great of an actor. Did you really think I would believe you'd be going out on a date? And why not? Well, you don't look like a person with a love life at all. <sighs> well, in that case, someone wants to meet you. You should give her a call mm. and ask her out on a date. Why should I call her? I don't understand. <laughs> so you really want to keep pretending, uh-huh. It's none of your business, okay? Rita, you have to stop messing around. I will be out of this house soon. Hello? Katie, honey. Yes, I can go. Sure. Mom, could you come down a minute? Be right down. <laughs> Katie, Hi, what's Katie. going on? Hi, Dad. How are you, honey? Hi. What is this all about? Tell us. I'm going on a business trip. I moved out of the apartment. Here are my things. Can you take care of them while I'm okay, gone? Okay, I don't right. get it. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I haven't introduced you to Sam. Oh, uh, the oh, taxi hi. driver. Nice, to, nice meet to meet you. It's a pleasure. a pleasure, sir. No, he's not the taxi driver. Sam is, in fact, my husband. What? what? Your husband? Yes, Sam's Who's my husband? husband. He is coming on this trip with me. So I'll leave you my things Come here, here and we will... Tell us, what does this all mean? Sam what works is remotely. Mean? He can work from anywhere, you know? But what are you talking yeah. about, Katie? Why didn't you I tell really us? I really tried, but you didn't listen to me. I don't understand. Why are you telling before. us this now? Let's stop Katie. fighting. Why didn't you, you tell us he was this before? Husband. You never listened to me. Please come back. I will tell you about you it can. later. Katie, hurry up. Take We're going to be late. Call me when you get there. Please take care of myself. Please do. Okay, Drive safe. Have a good trip. We love, love you. you. Katie. I love Katie. you. Let me know everything, please. Katie. I want to hear. I want to hear. You, hey, you, you have to come back soon. You hear me? I can't believe this I is happening. I can't believe you did that. Can you please shut up? This is your fault, you know. I wish we had come back sooner. I love being at home. And for some reason, I always get sad when I leave. I can't imagine what will happen if they sell the apartment. And why would they sell it? Have you ever heard about the movie The War of the Roses? Of course. Hmm. What, they've been fighting? <laughs> As my father always says, there are some things in life that you uh, never get to regret until it's too late. <laughs> but that is how life is, you know? Well... But you see, the more they fight, the more that I think that they should be together. You can call me crazy, but they're the best parents in the world.
much has happened. I don't understand anything. I could never do that to my parents. I don't know how she was able to marry like that, you know? No, it's okay. We weren't even invited. I had the perfect dress. Uh, we haven't even met him. No, Katie has always been stubborn. Stubborn? Well, a little. To tell you the truth, she never ceased to amaze me. It reminds me of someone who is also a bit stubborn. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello. How are you? Oh, hello. What are you doing here, Sam? Sorry for bothering you. I came to pick up the things that Katie left. Did something happen? No, nothing really. They wouldn't let me get on the flight. You know how it uh, goes. What? And Katie? Oh, she left. I'll catch up with her later. Oh, I see. Okay, come in, please. Don't stay there. Don't thank be shy. You, thank you. Just come in. Uh, oh. Sorry. Um, where are the bags? Let me get them for you. Yes, thank you. I'll be right you. back. Can I, uh, can I make a phone call? My phone is completely dead. I ran out of battery along the way, and I need to make some phone calls. Yes, of course. Use the phone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Need anything? Oh, I just... I'll make you a few phone calls. I'll just call to see who I can stay with for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Here are your things. Here you go. Um, hello? Hey, listen. I'm in town. Can I stay with you for a couple go of days? Ahead. Oh, Lila's in the hospital? Oh, don't worry. I understand. Um, oh, oh, it's I'll heavy. That. Here, take it. Okay. Hey, buddy. Is there a way I can stay with you for a couple of days? Oh, your mom is with you. Uh, I see. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. It seems that everyone is busy. Apparently, no one is able to make some room for me. Sam, I guess you have nowhere to spend the night, right? Mm, correct. Rita, where's the nearest hotel around here? Hotel? What hotel? He, uh, he could stay here with us, of course. Yeah? I think you'll feel more comfortable in Grayson's room, don't you think so, honey? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Are you saying that I should go? Well, do whatever you want. I just thought it would be a good idea, don't you? Um, that's no, fine. no, I don't care. I'll just get my pajamas to sleep. Why not? Sure, you're welcome. That's a great idea. Well, Sam, now we'll have a chance to get to know each other better, like, mm. like normal people do. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like you just stop by. Just say hello and goodbye. Don't you think so, Sam? Thank you, thank you. Listen, Sam. Hmm? You don't have to be shy. Feel at home. Mm -hmm. At least, I'll have someone to talk to. It's always good to have someone to talk to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Well, I think we should celebrate for Sam's visit. Don't you think so? So what happened at the airport? Oops, so sorry. Everything in this house is falling apart. It's a disaster. Well, so what happened? Oh, it's nothing serious. Oh. I was kicked out because of a problem with my so ID. nothing serious. Really, it's good, nothing. Good. Oh, why am I here? Mushrooms. I completely forgot the mushrooms. You're gonna love them. Well, here we are. Hmm? Try them. These mushrooms are my specialty. I made them myself. Yeah? They're homemade. Do you want some? You must try them. Here, let me serve you Oh, no, thank you. It's okay. I've had enough food. Anyway, Grayson, don't eat it. I don't care. But you, go ahead. Let's Please toast. try them. Here. To you and Katie. It's good to have you here and hope to get to know you better, Sam. Cheers. You know, I don't drink much. So, I guess I'm drinking alone. Cheers to you and Katie. You're doing the right thing, Sam. There's no benefit to drinking. Mm. 
Thank you, Rita. Thank you for letting me have a small chat with my new son-in-law. Thanks for the celebration and thanks for the food. If you excuse me. Don't listen to us. You eat. You eat, eat. Would you please tell me what kind of behavior was that? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Is it because you have no one else to talk to? Or and what? what about all those comments you said? How rude you were with me at the table. I'm generally kind, but you are such me? a... Me? Oh, but... I did? Why are you being rude to me? I even offered you soup and mushrooms. You are only good to me when we have someone visiting. I have tried to be kind and courteous to you, but with that attitude... So why are you kind to me only when we have some stranger visiting us? Tell me! Do not Sorry, yell at me like where that! where is the bathroom? I need to use the bathroom. Bathroom. Oh, excuse me, Sam. Oh, over there. Uh, down the aisle you, on the right. You go over so there and to the right. Go ahead, right over yeah. there. Thank you. Are you That's are it. you comfortable in Grayson's room? Okay, or? thank you very much. Nothing else you need? Or let us know, please. Mm -hmm. Just thank you. He hasn't gotten around to fixing mm -hmm. the bathroom leak, Thanks. so it could come out really hot. Well, this is ugly and heavy. <clears throat> oh, it's her. Hello, honey. Hello, how is the flight? Don't worry. Everything is fine. Sam came. He's here now. He's going to stay with us for now. Katie? How? How can you say that? No, he's not shy at all. What are you saying? Sure, I'll... I'll pass the phone to him right now. Yeah, I agree. Sam! It's for you! Nine. Yes? Rita, why did you keep the largest, best part of the room with a window? Well, it's my room. But I wanted a window, too. The sofas in this half is also mine, and that's it. Because you had this great idea for him to stay in what my room. What do you want me to do? And then? Go back to your space. Let me alone. I just want to watch TV. And now, spin the wheel. And it's a four. He's got both teams on the tournament to win. At the end of the first half, the team turns off. And now, the latest news. We have a very interesting game ahead of us. A lot depends on the outcome of this game for both teams. The game is on, and they are ready for battle. Go, go. Come on, you guys. What, Antonio, if you leave me, I won't stand it. Promise you will always be with me. Oh, come on. You are degrading yourself. Juan Antonio, you haven't seen this garbage in your life. You just do it to annoy me. And now I will, every day. Go! Go! Yeah! Yes, they all have right. succeeded after all. This is the no one will ever forget. Is everything okay? What? It's very loud and I was worried about you. Sam, what is happening out there? The neighbors came to complain. Why did you let this them in? The no one will ever forget. What? Yeah. Oh, What's going on? Sam, you shouldn't have opened the door for them. Hello, sorry for the inconvenience. I'm so very sorry. Please accept my apology. Oh my god. Samuel, you better go to your room and stay out of our business. Uh, okay, Please sorry about that. And close the door, okay? If you're not watching this, you're missing the best game of... Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Rita, let me help you. Help me? Well, yeah. You cook, you set the table, you cleaned it. So I think it's fair that I do the dishes. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. And please go rest. Are you really going to clean everything up here? Yeah, of course. Don't worry. Please. Like if I never cleaned dishes before. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I don't understand? Why did he open the door? 
He didn't even ask us. It's a bit rude. Maybe that's how young people are now, you know? Sticking their noses everywhere. But I found it very rude. Can you imagine if you had interfered in your parents' affairs? What is that? There's no respect anymore. There's no respect. You're right, you know. Surely that guy Sam dodged the army. If he had served, I'm sure he'd know how hard life is. Of course, says the one who spent years in the army. I didn't serve in the army, but I know the drill very well. You listen to me. I know for sure young people don't know the rules. Ah! What are you doing? Get out! What's the matter? You are! I've seen you like this before. Come on, get out of here. Don't be afraid, Tuzi. It's, uh, it's your mother who's screaming. I still don't know why. I have no idea. Now, where is the coffee? Is it here? Hmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. My God, uh, Sam, what happened to you? Yes, I just wanted to have some coffee, but this chair broke. What about the tablecloth? Uh, I tried to hold on. I grabbed it and everything fell on top of me. Hold on a second. What is this chair doing here? Huh. I just uh, threw it away. You gotta be kidding. Now I have scavengers. Watch your mouth, ma'am. What are you talking about? Please, please. This chair and I have almost the same age. It's part of our family. Who throws out a family member? This is your place in the trash. Yeah. Scavenger. Uh, uh, say, stop saying that to me. Did you have coffee? Yes, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. What did you mean by scavenger? Yeah. This is gonna be fun. Hello, neighbor. Hello. Oh, it's a good day to go for a run. I'm feeling great. Hmm. Great way to start the day. Didn't you go to work? Oh, well, you know, I... I got fired recently. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Whew. That's happening a lot now. How long has it been? It's been almost a month. Please don't tell anyone. You know, my ex will kill me. Sure, I, I understand. Mm -hmm. You don't worry. Mm. You're gonna be fine. Thank you. All right, I'm leaving. Hang in there, brother. Oh, oh, so, so do you happen to have a job for me? What did you say? Do you think you can get me a job? A job? No. Well, I have to go. See ya. Oh, yeah, I understand. Ah, keep Thank you trying. anyway. I'll see ya. Humanity is digging its own grave. Globalization. Huh, you. Do you need globalization, Tusi? Huh? No, you don't need it. But how is it that the whole world is willing to fight over this? Only numismatists, only they, keep these pieces, pieces of culture, to do what... Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, they pass these coins from one generation to the other, to their people who are interested in it, who care about it. Do you understand, Tusi? I see you're not busy. You need to come and hear this. Can you hear me, honey? Hello, Bunny. How are you doing? How, what's going on? I am fine. How's see? Going? Oh, what is it? He never leaves the room. He only goes out to get some food, see? And then he Have he comes back into the room. Yet? About the apartment. 
I promised you that I would find this one soon. Oh, he's lying to her daughter. I never imagined he could do that. So you're already looking at some options? I have an option that you're going to love. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, for sure. An option? I found an apartment. He's lying. Well, he's a very good liar. He is. I know, honey. This is the right place for us. You what are you lie. doing? Stop uh, it. I'm are you uh, crazy or what? You can have fun. We're gonna have fun. I miss you. I miss you too, honey. Hi, would you like to buy some flowers? No, thank oh, you. Have a great day. Oh, but okay. how much do the lilacs Just cost? Right. Okay, I'll take one. Hold on. Here you go, thank you. Ah. It seems that our precious son-in-law is not planning on moving. We're stuck with him. Congratulations. I guess now you have to put up with him. Oh, excuse me. You're welcome. Have a good day. Goodbye. You were saying? I wanted to ask you... Are you dating anyone? Because I saw you with flowers. Did someone... give you those flowers? <sighs> Not at all. Who will give me flowers? All I have are neighbors. I bought them myself on the subway. Please don't tell anyone, okay? <sighs> Rita, how are you really doing? Oh, I'm here for her. This way, please. Watch your step. This can't go on like this. What? I'm talking about your son-in-law, of course. What about him? I think he's never gonna leave, never. We're stuck with him. Well then you, you wanna kick him out? Not exactly. There are some friends of Galina who, who are renting an apartment. We can rent it and send oh. him there. I think it's a great idea. Don't you think that it would be a better idea for us to see it first? Yes, we should. What the hell are you doing there? It really, really stinks. Of course it doesn't stink. It's fresh. Open the window. I can't breathe. Come on, smell it. Keep that away from me. It smells horrible. And clean that apron. Open the windows. I can't stand this smell. Well, it smells good. This one, not so much. I told you it wasn't easy to get to this apartment. It's not that far, it's just five stops away. Five stops? You said 15 minutes, of course. Hmm. Well, if, if you had fixed the car, you wouldn't have had to wait a half hour at the bus stop. Listen, why don't we change the plan? Hmm? I think they can stay with us. You've got to be kidding. They're a young family. Why should they listen to our fights? Imagine living with your parents when we got married. Or yours. Even worse. Excuse hmm. me. Yeah, you're right. It was... it was good we find our apartment. Of course it was not in the best area, nor it was <laughs> the most beautiful. Uh, but at least we leave it alone. And so will they. So they'll have their privacy. An independent apartment with everything they need. Washing machines, stove, microwave. Does that make you happy? Very. Stove, oven, and microwave. It has it all. Mm -hmm. Come in and see. 
two separate bathrooms, mm -hmm. balcony, a large mm -hmm. kitchen. Mm -hmm. And things will be taken out of here soon. Go ahead, take a look. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, thank you very yes. much. And all of this will be out of here. That's good. If it's okay, we'll take it. Um, do you have the contract? Yeah. Yes, I have it right here. You just have to pay a small amount as a deposit. What do you say? I'll take Tusi for a walk. Mm-hmm. Do you have the photo? Be careful. Sam! Sam! Tusi, we have a surprise for you. Come here, dear. Tusi! Tusi! Let's go! Let's go for a walk. Tusi! Tusi, let's go for a walk. Sam? Sam is gone. Tusi's gone too. Where is she? Well, I don't know. I can't find her. Tusi? Tusi! Tus! Tusia, come here! Tusi, come here! Here she there is. There she is. <gasps> She's sick, Tusi. She's barely breathing. What's wrong? Oh, she's so hot. Call oh the vet god. right away. She's burning. Oh my god, call now. Call the vet. Do you have the phone? Yes, uh, here it is. Yeah, well. I'm calling the vet call clinic. Him. Here. Let Hurry. me call him. I hope he's available. Tusi. Hello, miss? Hello. Tusi, Our dog is sick. She's probably been poisoned with fish. Could you please come and see her as soon as possible? What do you mean? You can't come? He can't come. I go get it. We're going to get the car right now and come over with the dog immediately, okay? Okay, we'll see you there soon. Yes, very soon. Oh, you're going to be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. We love you. You'll be okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh, come on, you. You might as well be kicking yourself. I've told you a million times to fix the car. Who's my Tusi? She's barely breathing. She's so weak. Hold her a second, but be careful. Paul, please help. The car won't start, and we have to take Tusi to the vet immediately. She's not doing well. Uh, well, saving dogs is not my thing. But I can save you, baby. Give me two seats. What did he call you? A goddess. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, it's nothing. Oh. Well, this is old. I can help you jumpstart it, but does it run? Nah, it doesn't work. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, sometimes. Too bad it's not working. But anything to help my neighbors. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Tusi, honey, everything is going to be okay, I promise you. And you keep your eyes on the road or you're going to get us all killed, not just Tusi, for God's sakes. But I still don't understand what happened to her. What? It, it must have been your rotten fish. But it wasn't the fish. Look at me, I'm fine. Please don't compare yourself, a wild boar, to a small dog. You could eat garbage and nothing would happen to you. Oh, look, it's here, it's right okay, over here, stop just stop. Yelling. You're going to make Tusi get worse. How, with my screams? Well, yeah, but... I'm uh... sure it was your fish. What an idiot I am. Why didn't I listen to you when you warned me about the stupid fish? I'm a murderer. I killed Stop, her. Stop, Gray. Come on. What murderer? Stop blaming yourself. Don't kill her before it's her time. Let's wait for the doctor and maybe there's still a chance, okay? Tusi was a cheerful dog. Very noble. Oh, doctor. Tusi, oh, honey. Oh, you... Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you, doctor. Oh, how are you, Tusi? What happened to you, my oh, little baby? We you saved so your dog. Much. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. You fed her chicken bones? Chicken what? bones? Well, she swallowed one. We took this one out. Oh. That's strange. I just gave her some fish. 
Oh, and I don't ever feed her. So now no one fed her, and she almost died, but she didn't. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Oh, thank you, doctor. Thank you. Goodbye. Very much. I know what happened. Yeah. He's here. Tusi! Tusi! Where are you, Tusi? Tusi! Come here! Tusi! I brought you a bone just how you like it. Oh, now we know where the bone came from. Young man, do you know that chicken bones are not for dogs? Is something wrong? Fortunately, we took The dog to the choked bed. on it. We were lucky to save her. Did you even think about what you were doing? You should have asked. You should never feed a dog that. Well, sorry. Take a look at these. Yes, and all of them. And we found you this apartment. Uh, but, excuse me... It's five stops from uh, here. Only 15 minutes. Is it because of the dog? I don't get it. It's just because you need your own apartment. Look, here it is. It's a very nice it's place. It's a great apartment. It's 15 minutes by bus. You'll see it's everything great. is very close. The location... Yeah. Oh, okay, I get it, but... I found a better option. If you want, I... But please, check the photos. You didn't what look at What more do you want? Them. Look it's at the pictures. It has everything. There's a yeah, microwave. There's even there. a parking lot. Excuse me, phone. Think about it. Oh. Uh. Hello? The loan. What uh -huh. is he talking about? How could uh. I know? So, can I pick up the money today? Hey. Your son-in-law seems to be a businessman. Have you tell him to move? I think he should move now. Hold on. That's terrible. Do you realize that he's in debt? But why? Because when he says credit, it means debt. I wonder if Katie knows that he's in debt. Our Katie is a modern girl. Uh, money is not important to oh her. Oh God, I can't hear this. It has nothing to do with this at all. Rita, we have to stop fighting. We what? must find out what to do with the apartment we just rent and what we'll do with Sam. What should we do with this apartment? You should be in charge of what we do with it. You're the man, so act like one. Uh, if the deposit is not returned, I think I can go there and live with Tusi. Maybe for a month, rest, work, read, write. Well, why such sacrifices? I don't understand. Explain that Which to me. sacrifices? I don't know. Maybe you don't like me living in your room. What do you say to that? I don't like being so close to you. Oh, you don't like it, well. I wonder why I you insist on this subject. I'm a single woman in a separate apartment. I'm a very happy woman. Are you getting what I'm saying? Or is it too hard for you? But what are you talking about? Do you even know what you're talking about? You want me to go live somewhere else so you can be a happy woman? When were you going to tell me you were leaving, huh? Come on, you can tell me, huh? And why should I tell you? I don't understand. Because you are the mother of my daughter. What was that? <gasps> I am so sorry. Was it just an old vase? That vase you just broke, young man, was an <sighs> important wedding gift from when we got married. Are you kidding me? Now you like it? You never liked it. You always said it was an ugly vase. Yeah, what I've said is no longer important. Though it was very important to me. Don't worry. I'll try to put it back together. Although, it will take a little time to glue back again. And then you'll paste our feelings too, right? Excuse me. Excuse me. Rita, listen to me. Yeah. I just can't live like this anymore, okay? How? I demand to get this kid out of my room. Otherwise he, this elephant, will tear the whole place apart. He will break everything. Stop screaming. Don't embarrass me in front of Sam. He's a monster. God, I can't. You can't what? <sighs> Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, it's the agent. Yes, hello? Congratulations? But why? You found a buyer? Seriously? Thanks a lot. Of course. We will go and see it right away. 
Tomorrow we'll have a meeting and arrange all the paperwork so everything is in order. Yes. Thanks a lot. We are so grateful to you for all your help. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. But Someone's going to buy our apartment. It's not possible. I don't believe you. She Anything is possible. possible. If you don't believe me, you can call and check it out yourself. She's already found us two similar apartments near the center of town. We can get a divorce. What a thrill. I would like to see who is the one buying our apartment. I don't care who's buying our apartment. But I care. Oh, we're finally going to be divorced. We will. I will. Well, that's what you wanted, from the beginning. I think you should take the offer and move out before you change your mind. Or you will never get out of there. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of scam or something. Why a scam? You have to think positive and be grateful about it. Mm-hmm. Do you know how long it's been that we've been trying to sell this miserable apartment? Put your head down. It was all in vain, you know. I know that, my dear. But it doesn't mean it's a scam. You're done. Willing to give more than it's worth? It's nonsense. You just have to do a legal document check and close the deal. That's what a lot of people are doing now. Hmm? Mm. Grayson! Gray! You forgot your tax return. Yeah. Here you go. Are all the documents in here? I think so. Let's try to make this quick, will you please? Yes. Yeah. See you. See you. Well, they have the documents. Now, uh, they say we have to wait. Mm-hmm. Are those for me? Yeah, I got out of the subway and saw an old lady selling flowers. I wanted to help her, so I bought them. If you keep them, you can put them in water, or you can throw them away. Of course not. Thank you. Well, as I told you, we have to wait now. Yes. I made something to eat. Sam's not here, so would you like to have dinner? I'm not hungry. But if you insist, I will eat. Mm. Go wash your hands then while I set the table, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. This one is ready. I'm almost done with the glasses. Will you help me close this box, please? Uh, give it to me. One more glass, and I think that's it. Oh, I'm very tired. Tired? Go. I will finish here. How about some coffee? Are you going to do your special one? Indeed. Well, maybe a coffee. Okay. Just a little. Where did I put the cinnamon? It was over here. Oh! oh uh, wait, wait. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought about oh. fixing it today, but didn't have time. I'm sorry. Oh. I'll put it again later. I promise. I'm sorry. Of course. The story of my life. Don't worry. I will fix it. These are very old cabinets. 
from when we got married. Remember? Yeah. Remember when we bought those shelves and brought them home and it took you so long oh, to yeah, screw them I in? Uh -huh. It took a long time to choose them. Uh -huh. And when I hung them, you realized it was the wrong color. They didn't have the color I wanted, see? You choose them yourself. It was your idea. But it wasn't the color I wanted. Really? There was a light yellow in the store. Those look beautiful. And we got the natural wood color. Well, look how many times I have had to ask you to change the color. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Stop laughing. Oh, this yes, is you your choose fault. Them yourself and such they terrible taste. What is oh, that? Oh, my God, the coffee. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh, you stepped on me. Oh, I'm sorry for oh, that, don't too. Worry. Is Nothing. your foot okay? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I guess we'll have to make a new one. Ready? Wait, wait. Okay. So I'm done. It's not bad, huh? Not bad. You like it? You look younger. Yeah. That's better. Yeah. How much do I owe you? <laughs> you can't afford it, I'm sure. Oh, come on. I can work a little more. Doing what? Cutting hair? Hold on. One minute. Smile. <laughs> oh, wow, you both look very good. You think so? It's strange, though, that you look so happy, you know. But I was just cutting his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you the pictures of the coat I bought the other day for the yeah. winter. I love it. If you oh, look at this one over come on, here, come on. check it out. Hello, neighbor. Hello. I see that you have made peace with yes. your husband. Yes, why? Has he finally found a job? What do you mean? Well, you know, he hasn't been in the workshop for a month. Didn't you know? No. Oh, sorry. I promised I wouldn't say it. I'm sorry, it slipped out. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is none of your business, you know? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Hello. Where are you waiting for me? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm here. Are we going home? I'm a little tired. I had a lot of work. Tired? Mm -hmm. After work? Mm -hmm. Oh, then go rest then. So, when are we going to have dinner, Paul? Whenever you want. Friday? Yeah, why not? Amazing. Go rest, you're tired, honey. Friday at 8, at Victoria's, okay? It's a date. See ya. Have you invited him to a restaurant? I did. It's not right. Uh, what is this trench coat? I like it. <laughs> Tusi, honey, come here. I'll get you food. Here. Wait, I can't believe there's no food. Here you go. Here, Tusi. Here, eat a little bit, baby. Here you go. No, Tusi. Don't eat that. Come on, don't eat meat. You don't know where it comes from. Stop feeding her. What? You have to stop doing that. You know very well. She doesn't eat meat, so stop. Now I'm taking her for a walk. Yeah, you go. And you go to your fancy restaurant. I will, gladly. Very well then, have fun. Whatever you say. Hello. Hello, Grayson. <laughs> Tammy. Well, I'll call Tammy. Oh, hi. Are you Tammy? Oh, hi, how are you doing? This is Grayson. Rita just gave me your number. Yes, yes, yes. She said we could get to know each other. I am serious about it. Uh, yeah, sure. That's great. Yes, of course. See you then.
Hello? Have you already changed your mind about the purchase? Okay, wait for me, I'll be there. I'm sorry, but that wasn't the deal. Uh, you're giving me less money. That wasn't the deal. Uh, well, if you want your coins back, just give me the money. Wait, you promised me last time that you were going to give me double. Isn't that right? Come on. Yeah, that was last time, but not today, pal. I will never understand how the hell you became so greedy, man. Take it. Business is business. Oh, the food is here. Here you go. And what will you be having? I will have a salad with chicken, please. Right away. You know what? I could have memorized the entire menu by now, and you just chose a chicken salad? I can't believe that's all. Polly, let's get out of here. What? I said let's go. Are you crazy? We just got here. I understand, but I don't want to be here. Listen, I've been trying to take you out for so long that no, we are not leaving. This evening will be ours. I'm not going to let anyone ruin this. I think this is the beginning of something. Don't you agree with me, baby? Of course, we can leave now, but you promised. <gasps> Rita, look who's here. Hello. What a coincidence. And here I am having dinner with your, you know... Husband. Ex. Oh, you never told me Grayson was your ex-husband. Never mind. Oh. oh. What a shame. I don't know what's going on with me today. Yours is nice too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and you're a Buddhist. Uh, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> well, now we will leave you alone. Let's go, Grayson. With pleasure, Tam. <laughs> I like your style. Paul, another drink? Yes, yes, of course. What a night, huh? So many familiar faces. Such a romantic evening. Don't you agree with me? <laughs> Cheers. Tammy, you want some champagne? Oh, my favorite. Uh, waiter, champagne, please. Yeah. Oh, champagne, I love it. <laughs> oh, champagne. I wonder with whose money he's drinking, if he's unemployed. And it's French. <laughs> Oh, my favorite. I can't be cheap on a woman. Only the best champagne for you. But why are we sitting like this? Let's get comfortable, okay? I can see that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is way much better. Oh, yes. And now, a toast for you. Mmm, <laughs> very good. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, yes, thank you. I'll be back in a second. I won't be long. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back. You can sit down. Yeah, right. <sighs> Paul, where are you going? I'll be right back. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> to freshen up, that's it. I have a 
feeling that your date is not going very well. Even if it is, why should I discuss it with you all of a sudden? I was just saying, I'm not going to sit here and look at your bored faces. Yeah? Yeah. I see you're an interesting man. Oh, really? And you clearly deserve uh, a more temperamental woman. And not that dry cockroach. <laughs> Trust me, I'm never wrong about these things. That's why I have a suggestion. What is it? Can you bring me the check? And that table, too. Let's get out of here. I know the way out. You will see what I'm capable of. Yeah. Mm? You're absolutely right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let them wait for us like yeah. idiots. <laughs> uh, keep the change. Thanks a lot. Ah, uh, it's nothing. So, does your date is going well, huh? <laughs> Yours too, I suppose. Yeah. Well, can you just let me take you home? Don't you dare tell me you need money to pay the bill. Well, you have to start with that. Why are you like this? I already paid for everything. Yeah, that's fine. So, how about saying goodbye? What? Come on. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go... for a walk or something like that. Where are you going? Grab my bag. And don't let it fall. Okay. Oh no, we decided we walk. So do I cancel the trip? Yeah, cancel it. We won't be needing it. Did you order the car? I didn't know that you already had. Yeah. That service is very expensive. I did. You know that. Money's not an issue. You wanted to go for a walk, didn't you? And the weather is nice. <gasps> you ordered the car for her? What are you saying? Lies, lies, and more lies. Shh, don't start. Not tonight. Hmm? All right, let's go. Should I keep my distance? I still don't know. Come on, follow us. This can't be happening, please. What a nightmare. You are such a stubborn yes, man. Yes, you told me, I know. Yes. As well as other yes. heartful things. Yes. If I remember, mm -hmm. especially when I sent you out to buy a crib for Katie, and you ended up buying flowers. Well, uh, everyone has a crib, but not a room full of flowers as you did. <laughs> However, Katie slept with us for six months. Well, she never complained about it, and she became a good girl. Oh, stop with that. Don't be bragging. Oh, please don't start. I told you to stop with don't that. Don't tell me what to do. I told Just you relax that. and walk. <sighs> oh, now it's raining. Remember when we ran out of Let's the cinema when it was subject, raining? Please. Oh, my God, it was... Thank mm. you, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, would you like anything else? Milk. You want some more coffee? No, that's okay. Just milk, that's all. Mm -hmm. Shh, that's okay. Uh, now tell me, why did you put out this Christmas set? Well, I'm on vacation. 
Yeah? Mm -hmm. Then so am I. Huh. Mmm, uh -huh. it's really delicious. Of course. It's the only thing I know how to make. <laughs> Thank goodness. Mm. Uh-huh. Is it bitter? More milk, huh? Uh-huh, um, a little. Um, I'll go get it. Mm -hmm. Come on, I want to show you something. Come on, come on, sit down. <laughs> let go of me, sit, sit. <laughs> wait, just a wait, you gotta let go wait, of me. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> let me. What is it? Is this... It's a surprise. What I think it is? Uh-huh. How do I open it? Just... Oh. Wow. No way, Rita. How did you know this is what I always wanted? And I just wanted a new album. But this is a collector's case. It is... It is incredible. See? It has a key. No way. Oh my god, thank you very much. Can you imagine how beautiful the coins will look in there? Yeah, very nice. Come on, put them in, I want to see. Uh, maybe another time. The truth is, I don't even remember where I put them the last time. Grayson. What? Don't tell me you don't remember where you put the coins. Uh, Rita, I'm not in the mood right now, okay? Um, well, um, I don't understand. I had to sell them. I had no other choice. Listen, um, some, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. I needed the Why? money. I had to do it. I was running out of money. It was a hard decision to make. Uh, I had to do it um, uh, for us, you know. So you did it for her, then? No, it was because of you. Because of me? Yes. I couldn't let you get away with it. I just couldn't, you know? Uh, I couldn't. Grayson, you know, I think I need to tell you you're the most romantic. Do you know why I wanted to separate? Because you weren't like that anymore. Really? Uh-huh. A telephone. Wait, Never wait, mind, wait. put it down. Wait, hello? Yes, right? Thank you. Yes, we are definitely interested in the deal. That's it. The documents are in order, and tomorrow we're signing the contracts. Ooh. Well, congratulations. To you too. You know... This is where we celebrated when we first moved into this apartment. Yeah. Do you remember? Yes, I do. It's a shame. This place is so close to everything. The park, the shop. The school is over there. Right, the school. Do you remember? Do I remember? I almost killed you. You remember how you got Katie out of kindergarten? How could I forget? I was pulling the sled. Mm -hmm. And... I wonder why Kata was so quiet. I thought she was asleep. Yes, she did. But that's when you realized that the girl was not even there. Then I turned around and... Uh, then you turned around and there I was, right over there. Look. Yeah. That's of when you course I did. Really you lost the girl and we spent oh all afternoon looking me. for her. Of course it was the worst day of my life. I will never forget how scared I was. I never let you take care of her again. I was really mad. So many things happened here. Uh-huh. Hey, what's wrong? so sad. 
let's have a drink, okay? This is supposed to be a happy moment. Oh. What are we celebrating? Um, sorry, I better go now. Strange feeling, Grayson. I've been dreaming about this, ah, for so many years, but I'm not sure anymore. Maybe we can back down and get out of here. No, it's not possible. We've been trying for so long. Come on. Please, let's go. Thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome. Come on in. Go mm. on. Uh, here's your contract. And here's a copy for you. Mm -hmm. Please read it carefully, and if you have Thank any you. questions, just let me know. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me, Angela. Yes? Can you check this out? Look. Oh. Come on. Ask her. Uh, excuse, excuse me, me the buyer, buyer Oh, he's coming a little late. He asked me to start without him. Uh. The second one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that uh huh. Here in the second paragraph, it says the buyer has inspected the apartment and has no complaints. I don't understand. That's right. But he didn't even see the apartment. How could he inspected it? No, no. Oh, don't worry so much. When you're the buyer, you know what you're getting into. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, and look. Here the contract says that there should be no debt at all. We have not paid for electricity. At least, uh, not for the last month. Exactly. We didn't pay last month. Maybe, Maybe that's we... going to delay the deal, well, right? Well, why delay it? Just pay off the debt and let's close the deal, please. Mm -hmm. Well, if there are no more questions, can you sign the contracts? Please? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, perhaps ladies first. No, I haven't read it yet. Hmm. Oh, I can't sign it. First, I have to see the guy who I'm selling my apartment to. That's right. Yeah, I can't do yeah. it either. Where's the Thank buyer? You. We don't even know who it is, right? Yeah, we don't know who it is. <gasps> oh, hello, Sam. How, How are, are you? you? Come on in. Oh, we're almost ready. This is your contract. It's ready for you to sign it. Please sit down. What, what are you doing here? Uh, what do you mean? I'm the one buying your apartment. You? You? What? No. How? Why? Uh, uh, how did you know we were ready to sell the apartment? If we had known that you were the one buying the apartment, we would have thought about it a hundred times. But you never told us. Yeah. All you do is talk about separating and moving. It's the only thing you talk about. I wanted to help a little. I even took out a special loan. What makes you think we need help? That's rude. This is outrageous. Yes, it is. You are taking advantage of us. And now you want to keep our That's apartment it. to yourself. That's it. This is outrageous. Grayson, let's go. Yeah, Come you on. See what We're he's out doing? of here now. I told you. I didn't trust him at all. Have you ever thought about Katie? You know she loves that apartment very much. Give me your hand, please. Watch your step. And why are we... What? Still mad at Sam. Could you please tell me that again? Oh, well, uh, I don't know. Grayson, do you think that I asked that question to hear I don't know? I mean, really. What do you want me to I say? I mean, the thing is, I don't understand why we were mad at him. I'm asking something and you just give me your favorite answer as always. I don't know. Well, if I say I don't know, it's because <laughs> I don't know, really. What do you want me to say? Yeah, I got it. Really? <laughs> you should have seen both of your faces when I walked in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, and you should have seen yours when we jumped on you. <laughs> yes. We were expecting to see someone else and not our own son-in-law. <laughs> yeah, you cut us off guard there. We didn't expect yes, that at all. Yes, it's okay. I'm getting used to it. It's just that when we got there to sell this place, 
Rita and I realize that we don't want to sell it anymore, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Honey? Yeah? What's going on? Rita, look at the color that is left. They said it was golden green. And no. this is some kind of light beige. Wait to see the color when it's dry. Look, it'll be fine. Look at this. It's dry. It looks great. What happened? It's Sam. Sam, is everything okay there? I think he's fine. Oh, it reminds me of someone else. I see that you've been busy around here. Yeah. Right? So did you take care of everything? Uh, not exactly. What do you mean, no? When it dries, it's a bit pink. Do you see that? Look. Well, I had some unexpected problems. What kind of problems? There are always problems and you always solve them. I've been dealing with a lot of things regarding the apartment. Take that from me. But your parents did something really unexpected. What does that mean? Come on, I'll show you. Oh yeah? Be careful. Oh, Katie! Katie! Hi. Why didn't you tell Mom, us? Dad. Why didn't you tell us oh, you were coming? You, call? Over you should have told us you were coming. You. Surprise us? You have surprised well, us. Well, we wanted you and Sam to yeah. live it's about here while we were looking for an apartment. So yeah. we were trying to fix it up so you would like it and all that stuff. By the stuff. way, we yeah, will be you know. out for three weeks. We're going on a trip. Wait, yes. wait, wait. Can anyone tell me what is going on here? We are going away for three weeks. Honeymoon trip. Yeah, on our honeymoon. It's going to be the so second one. you two are back together? Oh, we're so excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mom, I'm so happy for you. Your Sam is wonderful. He's a good yes. guy. Yes, about this? Yeah. Well, Why didn't you tell me? Yes, I did. Yeah. You did and you didn't tell oh, me anything? Yes, Come here. I know that. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, you are. Come, Come over here. <laughs> Come here, you. I love you, I'm so happy for you. you. so great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so happy, Mom. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. It's going to be such a fun. Yeah, we're going to have fun. Here.